It is a very, very rainy day for doing anything like this, but I'm doing the Warner Brothers Studio Tour today, and I'm really excited because I am a big fan of a lot of stuff that they've made over the years, and quite a few things in production right now, too. The Warner Brothers Studio Tour in Hollywood starts with some history and an introduction to everything the company makes before you get on a cart and start exploring the back lot. The whole tour takes about two hours to explore, although you could take even longer if you want to deep dive into a few of the areas. The tour guide takes you through the back lot and they'll tell you about some of the films and shows that are already filming in the back lot and some of the hits that have been filmed in the past. That even includes films from other studios as the lot is open for any company to use if they want to book the space. A few examples of what's been filmed on the lot include Friends, Shameless, Interstellar, Gilmore Girls, The Goonies, La La Land, Spider-Man, Gremlins, The Dark Knight, Full House, and so many more. You can take photos in most areas while you're on the tour as long as it's not one of the active sets and you'll get out and walk through some of the areas as well. The rainy days may not be the best days to walk through, but you will see lots of stuff, whether it's rain or shine, they take you through some very cool spaces. After you tour the back lot, you'll arrive at stage 48, where you can grab a bite to eat and a coffee at Central Perk, and then explore more about WB and their shows and their films. If you don't know how shows are filmed and made, you'll learn a lot, but even the film buffs are likely gonna learn quite a few things and geek out about all of the things that have been filmed here and all of the details you can find throughout stage 48 about the filmmaking process and the things that have been shot here. You'll find rooms dedicated to the scripting process, casting, costumes, special effects, and props, and there are even sets. You'll find highlights from Crazy Rich Asians, Friends, Elvis, and A Star is Born. There's drawings and art, and a little something for every film or TV fan. But I have to say that I was blown away, especially by the things from Mars Attacks, because this is amazing. This is where you can really geek out about the attention to detail in props and costumes. Tim Burton was a master at this, and every single thing back here is so detailed, it's amazing. And then, of course, once you're here, you can take a seat and have your photo taken at Central Perk. This is the actual set from the series, as far as I understand it, and it is pretty cool. But for the classic film lovers, you can also go back and you'll find a ton of props and things from classic film, including My Fair Lady, and it's just amazing again to see these leading lady costumes, the leading men, and everything from this era of film that is so iconic. For the fans of Big Bang Theory, there's a large area devoted to the series with sets of props that make it feel like you've stepped right into the show and they've got audio playing from the show and it's about as close as you can get to feeling like you've stepped into a TV series without becoming an actor. There are also props and everything from the Matrix and a space to recreate how filmmakers made actors look hobbit size for Lord of the Rings. It's an amazing thing, this forced perspective. Plus there's a whole area to jump into the special effects yourself, featuring scenes from Harry Potter and The Dark Knight. You'll get green screen and step right in and see yourself as if you're right in the film yourself. And of course, there are also some of the tools of the trade that were used to make films and shows for many years. Before you leave, you can browse the friend store for some merch that you can't find anywhere else, sit and relax, or when you're ready to go, head out and take a studio cart till the final stop on the tour. Action and Magic Made Here is dedicated to everything DC and Harry Potter with some very special props and heroic costumes. Not to mention a number of rewards that are on display near the end. You'll see props and costumes from The Batman and most of the recent costumes for Wonder Woman, Superman, The Dark Knight, and so many more. You can take selfies, learn about some of the costumes and projects, 
and the whole space is so immersive. And look, Batman fans are gonna geek out when they see the various Batmobiles and Wonder Woman fans can stand and pose with her wings. And of course, there's a whole area that just feels like you've stepped into Aquaman's lair and the Batman's lair and it's, it's a really immersive space. I can't say that enough. There's a lot to check out and you can easily spend an hour in just this space alone, especially if you're a big fan of DC or Harry Potter. So I have to ask, what's your favorite Warner Brothers movie? Or what's your favorite DC movie? Is there something that stands out for you? You're probably gonna find something somewhere in this tour that fits some of your favorite things from Warner Brothers because there is a lot. For a hundred years of film, you're gonna find more than a couple things. It is amazing. And I, I gotta admit, the Dark Knight things were some of my favorite items in the whole location. It's, it's really amazing and they've done a great job at presenting it and making it feel like, again, you've stepped into this movie world. It's, it's very, very cool, especially with the bat pod and everything going on in the background here. And then you turn around and there's everything else. It is, it is astonishing. And while there's not as much from the classics, you will find original costumes for Wonder Woman, Superman, and Batman. Then for the Harry Potter fans, there's also a large space dedicated to films and props before you head into the area with all of the classics. So first you'll experience some of this magic and then you'll step into the last area where you'll find awards and props and things from everything from Argo, the Lego movie, the West Wing, Blade Runner, and you'll even get a chance that you can pick up and hold a real Oscar from 1957. It is a classic. I really love this last area because some of the things here like this Blade Runner prop are amazing to see in person. It's again, just this moment where film history and film things come alive that you, you just won't see anywhere else. But yes, there is an Oscar. And then you'll exit through the gift shop where you can find merch from all your favorite WB films and shows, including Bugs Bunny, Supergirl, and, and so much more. Given enough money and closet space, I really wanted to buy up this entire store. Okay, I've gotta say, the studio tour is fantastic. I had a blast. It's very cool getting kind of a sneak peek of what's, what's behind the scenes of this huge studio. I have seen, I've been on a number of sets over the years, so I've, I've seen some of the movie magic, but it is very cool to see the way that it, Warner Brothers has been working here for so long, almost 100 years, 100 years later this year. So very, very cool. If you're a movie fan, it's awesome. You may sneak a peek behind the scenes of one of your favorite TV shows. Uh, you might find an actor back there, but if nothing else, you'll see some really cool movie magic some gems from their archives, and you have a chance to check out the friends experience kind of thing here, where they've got a chance to take a picture and uh, you know have a, a coffee at Central Perk and everything else, so very cool experience.